A 1,000 pound horse puts two gallons of moisture into the air each day. Four horses supply eight gallons of humidity per day, and that's not even counting moisture from evaporation of urine and manure. A healthy humidity level for horses is between 50 to 75 percent, with 60 percent being considered optimum. However, too dry is better than too humid. Damp air inside a barn contributes to respiratory ailments, uh, stiffness, and the growth of bacteria, mold, and fungus. And it promotes condensation, which can rain down on your horses, your feed, your tack. It can rot your barn framing. It can rust uh, steel siding and roofing from the inside. It can ruin insulation. And when it's cold, it can cause frost and ice to form on the surface of the walls and the ceiling. Condensation occurs because warm air can hold more moisture than cold air can. For example, a beverage can taken from the fridge will appear to sweat. And this is because when the warm moist air inside the room strikes the cold surface of the beverage container, the air cools off and the moisture is squeezed out and collects on the cold surface. Well, it doesn't always happen here in Colorado. And that's because we have such low humidity and we don't have any horses in the barn right now. In Iowa, on any given day, this can would be dripping, I guarantee it. Now this phenomenon also happens inside your barn when the warm, humid air strikes a colder surface of a wall or ceiling, the air cools off, the moisture is squeezed out, and it condenses on the ceiling or the wall surface. Now this phenomenon only uh, happens in climates where the temperature drops below 35 degrees Fahrenheit for extended periods. Uh, barns in a warm climate or roomy, airy barns that have a lot of air circulation and the temperature inside and out are about the same, uh, never have condensation problems. Now there are three things you can do to prevent condensation. You can minimize humidity, equalize temperature, and ventilate. Now the most effective way to minimize humidity inside the barn is by removing the source, the horse, of course. Keep horses outside as much as possible and only use stalls when necessary. When horses are in the barn, clean the stalls and remove wet bedding as often as possible. What I mean by equalizing temperature is to have the inner surface of a barn's walls and ceiling the same temperature as the air inside the barn. Now it doesn't matter if they're both warm or they're both cold. As long as these temperatures are about the same, you shouldn't have condensation. So if you have an airy, uh, loose barn where air can flow around doors and, and between the siding, the air temperature inside and outside and the wall in between will all be about the same and you shouldn't have condensation. But when you start heating a barn and you don't insulate it, the air temperature inside will likely be warmer than the inner surface of the walls and the ceiling, which are being cooled by contact with the outside air and condensation could be a problem. Now insulation installed against the backside of the walls and ceiling will hold the heat in and keep the inner surfaces warm. Along with insulation, a vapor barrier, often a thin sheet of airtight plastic, is installed between the wall covering and the insulation, always on the warm side of the insulation. This vapor barrier blocks the movement of warm inside air through the wall. Now if warm humid air does get through the vapor barrier, it will deposit moisture on the first cool surface that it comes to. Now this could be the insulation in, and wet insulation no longer insulates. It could be the uh, wood framing of the barn, in which case uh, it will rot uh, very quickly if it's uh, gotten wet and enclosed between the walls. Or it could be the inner surface of the uh, roofing or the siding material. 
and, and this can cause rot if those materials are wooden or rust if the roofing and siding are made of metal. 